Cosmos is a network of interconnected blockchain. These blockchains are based on the Cosmos SDK, a framework for building blockchains. There are already 259 projects built on Cosmos like Terra, ThorChain and Binance Chain. Cosmos is launching a hackathon with $1 million of rewards. In this video, I will talk of what kind of project you can build during this hackathon and how to get the best chance of winning a prize. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development. The first tool you will need for this hackathon is the Cosmos SDK. The Cosmos SDK is a framework for building blockchains written in Golang. There are many blockchain projects that are written in Go, so I think it's a good choice to use Go for the Cosmos SDK. The blockchains you can build with Cosmos are proof-of-stake blockchains based on the Tendermint consensus algorithm. The Cosmos SDK is very modular, which allows you to only import the modules that you need in your own project. One of the most interesting modules is the IBC module that allows your blockchain to communicate with other blockchains. Like I mentioned before, there are more than 259 projects that use the Cosmos SDK, covering many use cases like gaming, healthcare, prediction market, connecting chains, and cross-border payments. You can build your project from scratch using the Cosmos SDK. But to get started, you will need to do some boring tasks like cloning repo, removing code you don't need, etc. And this leads me to Starport, which is the next tool you need to know for the Cosmos Hackathon. Starport is a CLI tool to easily start your Cosmos project. You can see it as a sort of Create React app, but for Cosmos-based projects. Besides bootstrapping your code base, you can also use a Starport to build and run your project. For both tools, Starport and the Cosmos SDK, you will find a really nice documentation. Okay, so that's it for the main tools you will need for the Cosmos Hackathon. Next, we're going to dive into the details. What kind of project you can build during this hackathon? There are seven categories in the Cosmos Hackathon. First, there is the Ethereum on Cosmos category. Project in this category will have to take an existing project on Ethereum written in a Solidity smart contract and rewrite it as its own blockchain powered by the Cosmos SDK. If you already know well some project on Ethereum, that's a good way to leverage your existing knowledge to win a prize at the hackathon. Next, we have the Starport category. Project in this category will improve the Starport CLI by adding new scaffolding abilities and or improving existing functionalities. If you are into developer tooling, this could be interesting for you. And also be aware that Starport is used by most developers in the Cosmos ecosystem. So this is something really important. Next, there is the interoperability category. One of the special features of the Cosmos SDK is its ability to enable interoperability between blockchains by using its IBC protocol. Developers will need to create new innovative way of using the IBC protocol, for example, with new use cases or new data formats. This is something interesting if you are into blockchain core development. Next, there is the end user apps category. Accessibility is one of the biggest challenge to solve in blockchain applications. If we want crypto to go mainstream, we need to make blockchain apps secure and easy to use for end users, no matter their level of expertise. For this category, there are four different prizes sponsored by a couple of projects built on Cosmos. For example, you can build a wallet or a trading interface. Next, there is the DeFi category. If you are new to crypto, DeFi means decentralized finance. This is a blockchain-based alternative financial system to the legacy system of banks, exchange, insurance company, mortgage provider, etc. But reimagined from the ground up with no intermediaries in the middle. So unlike traditional finance, in DeFi there are no gatekeepers and the barriers to entry is also lower which allow more people to access financial services, take a loan or earn a yield on their asset. So in this category you will have to build a DeFi app on Cosmos. Next there is the gaming category. Blockchain has the potential to completely restructure the gaming industry. What makes blockchain games completely different is that players can retain ownership of their in-game assets or characters thanks to NFTs. For this category you will have to build a blockchain game on Cosmos. And finally, there is the Earth category. More and more industries are becoming aware of the climate crisis and blockchain is no stranger to that. For this category, you will have to build a blockchain app that helps to solve the climate crisis like building bridges for so-called eco-assets or building oracles that collect data useful to fight climate change. 
So that's it for the seven categories of the Cosmos Hackathon. Next, I'm going to have a quick chat with Ali, a developer of Cosmos, who is going to give us some tips to win the hackathon. Hi guys, so today we have Ali that we receive for this Q&A. Welcome Ali. Hey Julian. Hey guys, how are you? So Ali is a developer advocate at Tendermint and he's going to give you a couple of tips to participate to the hackathon. So first question, Ali, from your own experience of joining hackathon, can you give us some tips for participants? Sure. So I have participated in many hackathons myself and won them as well. So the most important tip that I would like to share with participants is to try and aim and learn something new. This is a great opportunity to learn a new technology and to build something you are truly passionate about. Also hackathons are about team building. So it teaches you how to step out of your comfort zone, take initiatives. Yeah. So Ali, there is something I always wonder about hackathon. Does anybody can join or in general, do the participant have a, a certain uh, level of uh, experience in development? Um, I would say no. You can join at any level. Um, a fair understanding of the technology is like the prerequisite. But apart from that, you can just join as a college student, an experienced professional. Mm -hmm. So Ali, I, I check out your hackathon and... Um, there is a special award that is called uh, the community choice. So can you explain a little bit what it means? Yes, sure. So we have a dedicated award for felicitating the most popular project in the hack item. Um, and I think you can follow like a four step approach to win this. First would be try to be unique. Even if you're solving a common problem, do it in a unique way. The second would be be visible. As the saying goes, out of sight is out of mind. So make sure you are an active participant on forums like Discord, where people will notice you. The third is be available. This is a more elaborate version of be visible. So helping other teams can go a long way in earning trust from fellow hackers. And lastly, uh, encourage your connections, friends, family to register, register on dev post, and that will give them an opportunity to vote. Hmm. Okay, so I understand this is... Uh, a special category in the hackathon, you, you have the, 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 the main uh, awards and, and this one is a different uh, category, right? Yes. So uh, basically, if you would compare the all the categories are being judged by like a selected number of judges based on the different criteria, but uh, community choice award is, is purely based on the votes you get uh, from your community. So it's it's like uh, you share your project all the in all the social media and try to like give a shout out so that people notice you and then people try to come and vote for you. Oh, okay, interesting. This is the first time I, I hear about this kind of uh, one. Then another question that comes up very often in Hackathon is should developer join in a, a team or, or they can participate alone? Uh, sure. So though this is not an official requirement of Hackathon, I personally would recommend people to join in teams. Now this serves two purposes. Number one, the task is well distributed which opens up an opportunity to build a better product in less time. And the second is it teaches you how to work in team. And most importantly, like how to, how to step out of your comfort zone and learn something new. Hmm, okay. But let's say you're a very good developer. You want to participate, but you don't know anybody in the space. Is there a way to meet people before the hackathon to create your team? Yes, actually there is a way. So when you register on dev post, uh, you will be given option as uh, like already have a team or looking for teammates and all the people who select the checkbox on looking for a teammate will be like listed together and then you can go through their profile look what they're exporting look what you're looking for and then like you guys can combine together have a chat on dev post and you can combine together to like form a team yeah okay okay i think it's good. this is going to be super useful because i'm sure a lot of people uh, will be in this case and last question can we have some information about the jury how winners will be chosen and how participants should adapt the strategy to build their the apps basically sure so the criteria for judging is posted under the rules section on dev post which clearly defines how a project will be judged and under what criteria uh, but i could add like a few points to it which could help you win so number one is make your pitch strong. Think of the jury as an investor and your project as a startup. So this kind of break brings out the excitement and passion, which reflects in your demonstration. Second, make it easy for them. 
try to serve everything to the jury in a platter. So a well commented, easy to read code, a clean and easy to follow presentation, a self explanatory demo, et cetera. And lastly, let them ask questions. So it's very important that you give them ample room to ask questions and clarify doubts. And also don't be hesitant in saying, I don't know, because remember hackathons are all about learning and the first step towards creating a memorable journey. Okay, Ali. So thank you for all these tips. I'm sure this is going to be super useful to participants and good luck to everybody who is going to participate. Uh, bye Ali. Bye. Thank you guys. Happy hacking.